Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jerry speaking and welcome to summary video for multiplayer game number 118. Now, spoiler alert, if you do not want to know how the game went, stop watching right now and go to the first position of the playlist where the actual game starts. Alright, you have been warned, but if you do want to know how the game went, so you can decide if you want to watch the game or not, or you already watched the game and want to hear me theorycraft just a little bit, I invite you to watch this summary. So, this game was played on Twitch, obviously, like most of the games, I think I'm going to skip that part in the introduction, most of the games that I'm playing right now are streamed on Twitch, uh, 99%, <laughs> on 30th March. Uh, so if you've watched the game there, this is exactly the same game. I've got in this game Mr. Twinson playing as Indonesia, Purify playing as Ethiopia, Mr. Kleftor as Shoshone, Not Bob playing Russia, and QBS playing as Song Hai. Usual rules, mm, usual rules, you can check them out in the first part if you have missed them. Uh, and I rolled China. Now, this is my starting location, and now I was super, super, super happy with China, obviously, that's the first part, and I was quite, quite optimistic about this particular start. If you look at this start, the start screams like, oh, I'm disappearing a little bit, not on this, but on this one. Yeah, the sun is coming up. Okay, I'm going to disappear a little bit in here, but I hope you will not mind that. Um... So super enthusiastic about this start. It looks juicy. Now, this start looks tremendously juicy. China, mountain, coastal, tons of fish, uh, granular resources. When I saw this one, I was super, super, super happy. But as usual, I don't know what's up with the games lately. Uh, but when I'm going up against strong players lately, I tend to have very little land. And like, it, it's going f like two weeks already right now. You know me, I love Liberty Tradition Mix. Uh, or more like Tradition Liberty Mix. Well, yeah. Uh, so I love getting the Free Settler. I love planting at least more cities than four. Uh, because I like hammers uh, production, I, I, I love them a lot and I actually like to do stuff in multiple cities and try to work around them. I'm not a huge enthusiast about two cities, three cities or even four city tradition. Just does not have that feeling for me that, that I'm looking in. I like huge empires, right? And I feel most comfortable with traditional liberty mix. And as usual, in this particular situation that I will show you, this is the case I wanted to do in this game as well. Okay, you're probably wondering, yours, yours, yours. Why did you skip so many turns in this instance? Well, there is not much going on in, 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 in those turns. And I don't know if I was, you could call me salty. But I was displeased with what's going on in this particular game. Now, as you probably noticed, my capital turned out to be a Petra capital. It has one, two, three, four, five fish. It has two grana resources. I did step away from one iron and I did step away from another horse, but I gained a Petra possibility, not like a super extra cool Petra possibility, because it's barely like one, two, three, four, five, five good tiles plus two terrible tiles, like plain tiles with a Petra. But anyways, the capital, okay, it's, it's good. It's good, it's a very good, early game capital as I mentioned several times especially with traditional liberty mix it's 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 so strong to be on a hill and have grana resources and don't step away from the iron it's just it, it if there's no Egypt in the game or somebody's like not super super crazy lucky 
with with ruins then you can do a lot with this opening and as soon as i scouted the land i was like oh no 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 to have a chance in this game i need great life i need hang gardens i need petra i would probably need colossus i need just so much stuff because i have basically no land now if you look at this i have three luxuries three no actually i'm sorry four all right four luxuries i'm counting it wrong uh there's gems i'm sitting on gems i get marble i get crops and i get ivory now theoretically you could say four cities right four cities and there you go but where it's just like literally where would you plant a fort city to make it viable there's desert there's desert there's this spot that i will settle on later on then there's city state and there's twin sand and in south of me there's mr wonderful cleftor now what i'm saying i'm not saying it to be mean to cleftor by any means but cleftor had shoshone and had amazingly good start his food was rocking so so crazy everybody was depressed everybody was depressed at cleftor's food and not only that obviously his shoshone when he plants a city he takes away all the land so you can already see that all the land in south is taken and there's literally nowhere to go there's literally nowhere to go option take a city state maybe take another city state but what i decided to do actually i try to play it strong i try to play it strong and i try to play it towards uh having a very very strong capital now is that a correct decision now you gotta know two things right now uh when you have two cities on mountains and you're gonna plant a third city and they are all coastals actually there's a huge chance that you will not have a possibility for another city to maintain the happiness and cities on mountains especially a capital can compensate for uh, for the lack of the fourth city theoretically that this is just story crafting obviously but i do have a capital on a mountain i do have tons of fish I have a possibility of three um, trade uh, three cities on coast so using those six mid-game trade routes for cargo ships for food between all of my cities and i actually decided to go just to do that now look at shanghai shanghai is such a terrible city it's just like it's such a terrible city it's sad i, I was thinking for a second like to buy there, there's literally a hill a desert hill in here that i was hoping to get and uh well i was thinking about buying but i did not buy and of course shoshone bothers went there so i, I should have bought it it's always like a tile to work because look at that this city has if you take away the tiles that my couple is going to work because of petra this city has one two three four five five good tiles uh six good tiles to work unless there's oil in here later on six tiles <laughs> so plain out horrible city just so so purely horrible this city seems a little bit better obviously it will have two horses one wheat uh, sheep ivory iron uh, a little bit of plains but then again desert i did manage to get desert fate don't get me wrong i will have a religion so as i said the early start is not bad i did not miss any wonders in this game start was looking optimistic at best but the problem is most of the time uh wonders like this great life hang gardens petra those are the wonders that if you get them they like make your game so so much stronger in this particular instance with this particular land this those wonders were crucial for me to actually mean anything in this game 
thankfully I got them, thankfully I got Desert Pantheon. So at least my early game was quite lucky, actually Kleftor did not settle in here, imagine him settling somewhere here and like his city spreading to those tiles, which is quite possible with Shoshone, Shoshone borders tend to go to fourth even fifth ring sometimes for luxuries there's no other good tiles so i was like you know like liberty settler well tradition liberty mix settler comes so so late theoretically in comparison to three pop two pop uh, settler from tradition i was so so afraid that he will like oh he's gonna get in here with a settler uh, though theoretically we agreed we don't go over the mountain range that he's gonna get in here for, for a settler and his borders just gonna like cut in here and i would be like no i can't even plant a second city south i would be so so sad but thankfully that did not happen and it it would seem like i had a little chance a little chance in this game now i'm gonna skip to turn 100 so i will show you the mid game and i'm gonna talk about what happened on the other parts of the world it's not bad it's not bad my science is not bad uh, as you can see my city's uh, yeah Shanghai farms on desert the prophet my religion basically is strong my gold income is strong I've got my four cities all the crucial buildings are almost up observatory soon in this city not bad culture and nothing's basically happening in my parts. People on Twitch were asking, uh, were asking, why are you not attacking Kleftor? Well, the problem with Shoshone, uh, actually Kleftor in this particular game, he was always ahead of me in food. He was almost always ahead of me in hammers. Uh, and on top of that, there's only one tile passage to this city and the other cities are behind jungle. So. Taking that all of that into consideration, now Chukos are so squishy tonight. They are really, really squishy tonight. Mm, so attacking into Clefter would be a plain old suicide. I was considering two things. Well, actually, I was considering and hoping for one thing in this game. I was hoping that because Clefter expanded like crazy, you can see he's on one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five cities at the moment, and I'm on three cities. So I was hoping that until ideology, until ideology, I will, I will be able to beat him to ideology. Okay, that was my, that was my hopes that I can beat him to ideology. I can get freedom, foreign legions. And at some point, I can time some sort of an artillery push, and I can attack Cleft. Or that was the initial plan, on my side at least. How that end up, I will show you shortly. But I will talk about about uh, I will talk a little bit about the rest of the of the map. Now, as you can see on the point score, uh, Purify has excellent game. He has a very very good game. Ethiopia, go figure, salt start. So excellent game on Purify uh, on Purify. Bob had not a bad game either. He killed Songhai quite quite quickly, so Kubias had n did not have a chance to really enjoy the game for too long uh, because he was uh, he was taken down by Bob. So it's a five player game now. Now Twinsen is having troubles. Yes, he's having troubles in here. He's not really in shape to fight anybody at any point. Uh, does not even have anybody to fight. He could fight me, but we're like in an inland sea. This this whole area in here that I'm mousing over the minimap right now, this is an inland sea. So though Purify is on coast, there's no access to him. There's literally no access to him. And we agreed with Twinsend that we're obviously not going to go frigates. Well, we agreed basically we're not going to do to each other anything because it's, it's just no use. I mean, like, I've got Kleftor, the food leader, science leader, just next to me behind a mountain range. And he's got two very powerful empires also quite, quite close to him. So uh, if we ever consider winning this game, uh, we have to deal with our own problems. Now, my problem is Kleftor. And this is my only problem in this game. I did not care about any other things in this game. I can't compete versus Kleftor's five, uh, five cities with jungle, with mountains, tremendous amounts of food and hammers with on, being on three cities. 
So how do you deal with that? What do you do? As I said, my initial plan was freedom, uh, freedom, beat him to freedom, get foreign legions, and and do an artillery push behind foreign legions. So try to hit that timing. Uh, it was tough. Well, it, it, the plan seemed a little bit tough because Kleftor was in a very, very good shape. Nobody really slowed him down. Nobody was attacking him. And you know Kleftor. Kleftor is a beast when it comes to economy. When he has peace times and nobody bothers him in early game, he's like a beast, basically. He's, he's so, so good at what he does. Getting the economy science up. It's just tremendous. So... It was it was a sketchy plan at best already at the planning phase and now the execution okay the execution part oh the execution part I think this is a very very good screenshot to have a clear picture of well what could I say my failure in this particular plan plan A failed. Why did plan A fail? Because I went for industrialization first. Yes, I went for industrialization first. And I took the call lottery and I had no call. Now, Kleftor, Kleftor is known for not taking risks. And he, as usual, went for public school first. So he was at public school first. He had the public schools up. And he entered, obviously, modern era and got freedom first. Oh, the disappointment on this face. I think, I don't know what's actually cooking in here in this particular screenshot, but I think this this face just tells it all. Uh, this is basically my face later on. So plan A, total failure. Total failure. So I was thinking like, okay, mm, we need a plan B. And plan B, plan B, was plan b was actually autocracy bombers autocracy bombers i decided to go all in all in with bombers versus cleftor this is what i decided to do that i cannot attack him with legions and artillery because at the time my artillery will be on his borders uh, he will be at infantry or great war infantry. He can pop foreign legions and the terrain is just so so rough It will be so hard to advance. It's it's a pure nonsense to to go there So I figure out the only chance that I do have is to actually go for autocracy bombers I do believe I did get big Ben, but of course I had to open commerce uh, I, I do believe I did get big Ben at least and later on I did work on commerce tree uh, to get the cheaper buying in the end I believe I do had the, all the modifiers to buy units cheaper I actually I believe I did get the autocracy uh, autocracy tree tenant at least so I went all in I went absolutely all in on bombers I didn't see in any other choice to to go towards versus Kleftor and you're probably asking why well the reason is very very simple I'm on three cities I'm almost capped out on what I can work and the amount of food check on my happiness I'm three and actually players are supporting me because they know somebody has to stop Kleftor and nobody's around to do so so I believe I do get a little bit of support I think even Bob gave me around I'm sure he gave me 1k gold when the actual attack uh, I planned an actual attack Mm, because all knew that Kleftor needs to be stopped. He's on one, two, three, four, five, six cities. Uh, he went for public schools first, so that's those extra turns of science will mean tons. I'm like, th this will be a tons mm, of extra science, and he will get to research labs first. So I have no hopes to dream on about a later era war because while if i would like to go attack path right now i will always be behind by first 
five, six turns, and later on I will be behind even more and more and more because his pure population advantage, his pure hammer, pure hammer advantage, will just take over me slowly. It's just gonna crush me. Uh, so I can't wait for I don't know bomber timing. Well, I could wait, but in my mind it's like a, such a bad idea to wait for a bomber timing. A nuclear missile timing, stealth bomber timing, oh wow, I don't believe I will ever get to stealth, mm, having Kleftor as a neighbor in here, on, on three cities. So I decided to go all in bombers, and if I will manage to clear out Kleftor, then I will think about competing, competing with the rest of the players in this game. So that was the plan. Now, again, execution of the plan. Oh wow, you're in for a ride. Oh, you're in for a ride. Uh, turn 146. I had all my hopes. I had all my hopes. I believe I did hit um, research lab timing. Well, I do believe I, I actually stopped Kleftor from building a research lab in his capital and for some turns and I believe in the rest of the cities for also quite a bit of turns but uh, this looks good right on paper this looks good you're probably wondering what's up with all those cities I'm like Nanjing, Xi'an well it's quite simple this is just the terrain I've got in here so I planted all those cities because in Shanghai I could only have six planes right uh, so six planes against Tiomoak. I felt it's just a little. I need much, much more. I've got tons of more gold. I'm going to improve the oil. I'm working very, very hard on oil right now. Mm, I'm even sending more settlers to plant more cities around so I can actually get even more bombers around him. And it's looking cool. 68 Compass Trend City. Of course, obviously he get Red Fort. 68 Compass Trend City. Uh... Yeah, it looks doable. So I felt for a for for a very very short time that I could potentially do something. This is turn 146. Uh, but but I'm just gonna skip real quickly in here. Turn 146. Turn 146. Turn 152. So there was what, like eight turns? Eight turns, no progress. Not only eight turns, no progress. Tia Mowak from 68 combat strength to 133. Untouchable. Great war bombers just got one shot. It. On top of that, he he started have fighters, obviously, and all that stuff. So I couldn't touch his cities. I absolutely couldn't touch his cities. Those cities were so so strong, so so quickly that uh, I couldn't do it. I had. I believe there's three cities, so I've got 18 planes at his borders right now. 18 planes, and what I can do is I'm um, like uh, dog fighting his inter fighters. Mm, I'm bombarding units. I'm taking if, and that's it. I, I can't do much more. I, I even planted one more city there to actually get the oil, more oil. So I have a gold income. I don't really have science anymore. I don't believe I'm. I don't even know that I. I don't think I even build up research labs yet, or even have the tech for research labs. And yeah, prepare for a ride of a long, 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 and even more long turns of combat versus Kleftor. And I'm just gonna skip to the turn well it where it all ended. So let's take a note, turn 146. So 
60 turns later, around 4 hours of gameplay. And this is how far I got. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is how far I got. And yes, this is a correct number. 254 combat strength on Mosin Kani. Of course, not mentioning fighting versus stealth bombers. Uh, all the other unpleasant trees you can see, even my missile cruisers getting hit. I'm still autocracy. Uh, so, uh, look at the amount of planes I've got. There's, uh, there's like what, 20 planes, 20, 26, 27. I think in my capital there's planes. So many planes and not a chance. I've got a bomber selected with logistics. Logistics. So I'm at bomb shelters in soon, I think. I'm at bomb shelters soon. Uh, I'm, I believe I'm finishing rationalism and I will be able to get a free tag, the one for XCOM by, uh, well, I would get to bomb shelters eventually. I would get to bomb shelters eventually. Well, not bomb shelters, but um, I would get to stealth bombers eventually. And I would probably eventually kill Kleftor, but the game is already over. Because the problem is, look at the other side of the map. Uh, Twinson was trying to go to space, he was crushed. Bob was fighting with Purify a bit, but Bob actually attacked Purify without bomb shelters, so he got nuked, to, um, nuked quite, quite strong, so Bob dead. Uh, twin sands dying very very quickly and even if I took Kleftor with 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 stealth I can't really fight uh, purifies autocracy as well I believe so I can't fight this amount of stealth that he will have the aluminium that he has I don't have that amount of aluminium uh, and I don't have that amount of gold income he has before or even before I would be able to even get there he's probably just gonna go to space anyways so I was not able to even get Kleftor down in this game we fought constantly for four hours I believe four hours of trying to break his super super strong cities first with great war bombers then with bombers of course mobile sams missile cruisers we were fighting a little bit in here i i had a city in here i was hoping that i can take ragusa for a second none of this worked i i just couldn't take it without stealth probably with stealth i would finally break him but, as I said, the game was already over. So, GG Purify. Very, very good game. A very, very good game. And, obviously, thank you for the game, everyone. Thank you very much for the game. QBS, Twinson, Kleftor, Bob, and Purify. One more time. So, this is a quite strange game. Uh, from a, a, Though I'm still surprised that I managed to do so much. Be so much influential. Actually survive versus Kleftor. It gets to a habit, basically. If we're bordering each other, it's like the story repeats itself over and over and over again. He gets ahead. I try to stop him. I finally manage to stop him, but I don't win the game. <laughs> so, being Clefter's neighbor is so, so tough. It's such a tough task, especially in a situation like this. When you kind of know, you know you need to stop Clefter. To have a chance to win but at the same time you always know that stopping Kleftor is most of the times very very hard if you want to be honest about it of course because uh Kleftor is you know like if you want to cheat somebody and save it's 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 quite easy to do so like tell him i'm not gonna attack or tell him i'm not gonna do that and do that instead but I'm trying to play with people who don't do such things. Uh, so, in an honest and fair fight, trying to stop Kleftor is always tremendously hard. In this particular situation, I would say, okay, I stopped Kleftor from winning. Uh, but I did not win myself again. <laughs> this time. Uh, so, GG Purify. Well, 
map is like the map is basically and you tr always try to play with what you have as I mentioned at the start lately I have this luck of having nowhere to go on the map and like with every decision that I could possibly make would be a bad decision and in this particular game I also make that mistake about the call gamble there was a huge mistake maybe if I went public schools I could time a different attack maybe not sure about that uh, but I did went for industrialization first and I I think what I did after that was like the only option that I had. I don't see another idea. If you guys have another idea uh, that what I could have done differently in this particular game, I would be very, very happy to hear it. But I feel like the timing that I did try to do after deciding to go all in was just like a couple of turns later that even that, that wouldn't even work at all like totally at all as i was mentioning earlier because cleft will be just so so far ahead well anyways quite interesting game uh very quite very interesting game i would say uh very very demanding uh, from me because as i said the, uh, the last four hours is just like constant constant war anyways that's it for this summary I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not watched the game, I invite you to watch the game. The link should be somewhere around in here to the first position of the playlist. And as usual, one more time, thank you very much everybody for the game. GG to Purify. Thank you very much for watching. And see you next time. Best wishes. Yours out.